Welcome to story time on welcome to story time online. This is Sun One in a Billion by Stacy McAnulty. This is all about me, the Sun. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent and important star was born, and that magnificent and important star was me, your Sun, with a capital S. Yes, I am a star. Star, one, a massive luminous ball of gas and full of energy. Two, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. The Milky Way galaxy has over 100 billion stars. That makes me one in a billion, or um, one in 100 billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? Not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you Earthlings. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach Earth. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that Earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait. I'm famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Scientists call it gravity. <laughs> what can I say? The planets are attracted to me. And because I'm the center of our solar system, life revolves around me. Literally. Look. They all go in the same direction. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close. A mere 93 million miles from Earth. To an Earthling, I look like this. But to Neptunians, I'm 2,795 million miles away, and I look like this. If there were Neptunians, there's no known life on Neptune. Te technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star, but I'm still a big, big deal. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit about one million Earths inside me. But you can't fill me with Earths because I'm hot stuff. Compare. A hot summer day, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. A pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The orange yellow flames in a campfire, about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Me, about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. I can melt diamonds. At my center, I'm 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Ancient Earthlings thought I circled the Earth. Can you imagine me revolving around Earth? And some might think that I sit in the sky all day and all night, but I got moves, baby. I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. Don't try this at home. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good looking. Sunrises, sunsets, northern lights, southern lights. Sit back and enjoy the show. Sometimes, I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse, but don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to Earth, almost 400 times closer. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. Me? I just need three letters. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an N. What does that spell? Sun. Sun, sun, he's our star, light and heat from afar. Please note, that's a capital S. I am important. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. A stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. So grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another six billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. And that was Sun, One in a Billion, as read by your friend, The Sun. <laughs> We're super happy to have a special guest today visit us at the library. Um, to tell the truth, we're glad that the sun visits us every day. And we just wanted to let you know to come and visit the, the library this summer. Uh, we filmed this, one, this video today at our main branch. 
Um, our main branch has tons of fun stuff happening this summer, so you just make sure you visit your local library. Thank you for watching.